Up in Montsuk, Bowman directs my attention to a cartel training base nestled high in the mountainous desert. The mission is straightforward. Eliminate three cartel instructors running the show. Simple, right? Not when the base is a formidable forward operations hub, complete with all the bells and whistles, generators humming, alarms poised to scream, and a radio jamming device rendering my drone useless. I try deploying the drone, hoping for some aerial reconnaissance, only to be met with the cold reality of radio wave jamming, high-tech gadgets faltering in this jamming sea. I'm left to rely on the old-school precision of my Met 40 sniper rifle. It's a reminder that even in the sprawling landscapes of Bolivia, where the desolate mountains stand tall, cutting-edge tech can be rendered obsolete. So here I am squinting through the scope, eyes scanning the base for any signs of those cartel instructors. Sometimes the straightforward missions are the ones that throw the most unexpected curveballs. Gotta adapt and keep my wits about me. Well, my first shot missed the mark and now the cat's out of the bag. The juggernaut on the balcony noticed something was amiss, but the good news is that the alarm is toast and the whole base isn't on high alert. Time for a quick change of scenery. It's relocating to the north. Seems like the smart move. I've got some Sicarios headed my way, but by the time they reach my previous spot, I'll be long gone. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. The trick in these situations is to keep them guessing, stay a step ahead, and make the most of the rugged terrain. It's like a dance. Me and these mountains, orchestrating a deadly symphony. Now, let's see if I can pick them off as they scramble around searching for me. The tables may have turned, but I'm not one to back down from a little game of cat and mouse. Coming up on the objective area. Get in there, find the instructors, and take them out. All right, now that the southern flank is clear, it's time for some sneaky moves. The jammer is throwing a wrench in my usual drone recon. But hey, I've pulled off riskier stunts in Night City. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Going in blind isn't ideal, but we adapt. The SR-635 for close quarters, a trusty companion in situations like this. It's like navigating the tight alleyways of Night City, just with a bit more dust and a lot fewer neon lights.
it's no disabling generators or jammers for now. The less attention, the better. I'll have to rely on instincts and experience. Who needs fancy tech when you've got a sharp eye and a quick trigger finger? Just another day in the life of VO from the urban jungle to the actual one. Let's see how the Sicarios handle a little night city flare in the Bolivian desert. As I move toward the northern side of the camp, the desert landscape provides some cover, and the dust kicked up by the wind helps obscure my approach. It's a different kind of hustle compared to the urban chaos of Night City, but the fundamentals remain the same. Stay low, stay quiet, and trust your gut. The SR-635 is compact, perfect for these close quarters engagements. The rhythm of my footsteps becomes a dance, sinking with the beat of potential threats. I've navigated tight spots in Night City's alleys, dodged tiger claws and Valentinos. This is just a different tune, played with the same moves. The lack of drone recon is a challenge, but I've got the M40A for the long shots. Taking out that alarm was a smart move. Don't want the whole camp descending on me. Patience is key, like waiting for the right moment to hit a night city heist. Approaching the camp, I keep an eye on isolated Sicarios, picking them off one by one. The southern distraction worked like a charm, drawing them away. It's a delicate dance, but I've been the star of Night City's Midnight Masquerade. This is just a different stage. As I near the base, I feel the adrenaline kick in, the familiar rush of uncertainty. The thrill of improvisation. Tactics may change with the terrain, but V's adaptability never falters. Time to give these Sicarios a taste of Night City shadow game. The tents turn up empty, and my optic scan spots a cartel lieutenant deep in conversation with two of his goons. Capturing him for intel is tempting, but the odds aren't in my favor right now. Stealth and subtlety are my allies, and a direct confrontation might tip the scales the wrong way. I'll hey, save him for another dance. Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. The buildings seem more promising. These cartel instructors aren't likely to be lounging in the open. As I move forward, every corner becomes a potential ambush site. Patience and precision, the name of the game. I've danced with danger in Night City streets, but these mountains have their own rhythm. Time to find those targets and deliver a message to the cartel. You're not safe anywhere. I've got a laptop in hand. Maybe it holds some juicy intel. And there's one of my targets, making this building more than just cartel furniture. A quick sweep reveals a few supplies the rebels would appreciate, tagged and ready for a later pickup. I'm threading through this cartel nest, taking out hostiles silently as I approach the radio jammer. The patrol's coming back from the west, but I'm banking on them scattering once they return. 
Time to capitalize on that chaos. I make my way toward the western side of the base, taking my sweet time. Stealth is the name of the game, and I've danced this dance before in Night City's neon-lit streets. Yo, I got a weapons case here. This'll go nice with my boots. Spotted one with submachine guns. And makeshift bridge catches my eye. A potential entry point. The northern part's under my control. Now, it's time to assert dominance in the west. I'm threading through the shadows, and the cartel's about to get another taste of their own medicine. The progress of Operation Kingslayer is shaping up nicely. Each move weakens the cartel, and I'm making strategic hits where it hurts the most. The rebels are benefiting from the supplies I've tagged for them, and the intel gathered will guide us in the next steps. Got eyes on a mounted weapon. Still, I can't shake off the feeling that there's more at play. Walker's unexpected appearance, the secrets he spilled about Bowman, something's not adding up. I'll need to keep my wits about me and stay ahead of the game. There's much more to unfold in this dangerous dance against the Santa Blanca cartel.
last of the instructors. We're done here. You really think this will slow the cartel down? Absolutely. When word gets out about what happened, El Miro is going to have a hell of a time getting new instructors. And if the dumbasses don't listen, we keep coming back until they get the message. Instructors hit. Good kill. Mission accomplished. The cartel's top military instructors are out of commission, and the base is left with a void where their leadership used to be. It's a psychological blow, and that's as important as physical hits in a war like this. 